what a day for this. What a day. These are the days you live for. Unless y'all want to go back up there and work. No, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. no, this is way better than work. Because you wake up in the morning, go into a concrete bunker, and then all of a sudden, freedom. Uh-oh, flat tire, lost the shoe. Hold on, I lost my shoe. Easy. How? I got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> Hold on, let me climb in this thing. All right. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! I think we got a little leak here. Look, I see where the water's coming oh. from. Start piling toward the bank. Don't worry. Oh, hey, good, hey, good. Hey. What we got? Whoa! Good, whoa, whoa, good. Whoa, whoa. What? Any floating vessel can sink. Wow! Oh, God. Good grief! I think the Titanic proved that. Oh, that was a fish. Hey, I'm on the motor. Now, the difference in us and the Titanic was I brought two icebergs with me. Well, we ain't going crawfishing. fishing. No. Where's the new dog? Oh, that yipping thing. No, you have to do it like this. Muffin! Muffin! Is that her, is that her yeah, name, Yeah, you have to call her just like that. Muffin! That dog ain't good for nothing except eating everything in sight. Miss Kay is a dog lover, so am I. They're pretty good, first line of defense. If they bark at another dog, you can tell the bark they have. I'll make them shut up. If they're just barking because they're happy to be a dog and living in America, I, I know what that bark is, too. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh-oh. Where have you been? Boy, y'all worked up a big sweat doing something. The last thing that I want to hear is what I'm fixing to hear. The I told you so from my mom, and I'm going to get the what are you thinking from my dad. Oh, we went out there uh, enjoying the day. We's going to get some crawfish. Where are they at? I'm hungry for a good mess of crawfish. Well, we took that boat you had out there. Yeah. And uh, one of these boys forgot to put the plug in it. Do what? We buried that boat and the motor and all the gear. What'd I tell you about you tearing up things? We didn't tear it up. We sunk it. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It's just at the bottom. Y'all been riding in boats your whole life. I mean, I can't believe you sunk it right there where you're talking about. When something crazy happens, my dad then feels like he needs to give you a lecture on why the plug is important to the boat. And you got to sit there and listen because you sunk it. And it's his boat. Y'all didn't even check to see if there's a plug in the boat? No. Oh, good night of living. Chase. This would be like giving me the birds and bees speech for my 20-year anniversary. I got that. I have three kids. I figured it out. What do they sound like right now? They sound now? like city slickers to me. I mean, you know, good night. You take a boat and you shove it off and get in it without a plug in it, and you got two 375-pounders with you. It's like a house cat who gets his tail caught in a fan. It won't be long now. Well, did I own anything that was in the boat? You owned everything in the boat. Had all my snacks in it. Boat, motor, mm -hmm. snacks, mm -hmm. anything else. My hands smell like cocoa meat. What? What did he say?